in the Spring Branch area are also waking up to widespread damage. Our Stephanie Whitfield is live for us in that area this morning at Bingle and Hempstead. And Stephanie, earlier we could see all the damage behind you. Just a shocking scene this morning. It looks really bad where you are. Yeah, this building behind me was a business called Eden's Tire Shop, but it was totally demolished last night. The building toppled over into the middle of the street. It's spilling over onto Bingle. It also took big power lines down with it. Police told us last night that they've been de-energized, which is why they're allowing us to be here and walk around safely. There's also a mail truck that's sitting right there. It flipped over on its side. Luckily, the driver was able to get out without any serious injuries, but I'm glad to tell you the owner of this this store is safe this morning too. He was actually here when the storm hit and he had to hide behind tires to avoid getting hurt. It's hard because it's my, my work for like two years and a half, my family building. And it's hard. It's really hard. Voice. This morning, he and so many other Spring Branch residents are going to begin the process of cleaning up. I know a lot of people want to know when the power is going to be back on, but with so many trees and power lines down, police say it could be a couple days. And as we've mentioned, that also means a lot of traffic signals are out. So be careful as you start driving around today. Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.